Well, warm welcome to today's lesson. And in today's lesson, we're going to be integrating x squared sine of 3x with respect to x. And we're going to be using integration by parts. So over here on the right hand side, I've just written out the formula for you just as a quick reminder. Now, the first step is to make the substitutions. We need to decide what is going to be u and what is going to be dv by dx. So I'm going to start by saying let u equal x squared and dv by dx is going to be sine of 3x. Now differentiating u, we get du by dx will be equal to 2x. And when we integrate this, we get negative 1 over 3 cosine of 3x. Now, if you're not sure how to do that, I do have a little vid video tutorial on that, and I'll put a link up in that top right-hand corner for you. Now that we have everything we need here, we can apply the integration by parts formula. So what I've got is the integral of x squared sine of 3x dx is equal to the following. It's going to be equal to u multiplied by v. So u is x squared and v is negative a third cos 3x. So what I get there is negative x squared over 3 cosine of 3x. Then we have to subtract the integral of v du dx. So we've already got v here is negative third cos 3x and we're multiplying by 2x. So I can bring the 2 and the negative a third outside the integral. Well, this negative here and this one would give me a positive. And then I've got the 2 over 3. And then I'll have the x cosine of 3x with respect to x. So this integral here, let's deal with that separately up here. So we've got 2 thirds, the integral of x cosine of 3x with respect to x. And I can apply integration by parts again here. So I can let u equal x and dv by dx. Well, that will be equal to cosine of 3x. So I've got du by dx here, which is just equal to 1. And integrating this will give me 1 third sine of 3x. So now I can go ahead and I can apply the integration by parts formula. Just remembering we've got this 2 thirds as well. So I've got two thirds, and let's use some brackets here. So we've got u multiplied by v. So we'll have x over three, sine of three x minus the integral of v du dx. Well, du dx is just one, and we've got this one third here. So let's bring that outside the integral. So one over three. And we've got sine of 3x with respect to x. Okay, so what I've got is 2 over 3. We've got the x over 3 sine 3x minus. Now the integral of sine 3x, well, it's going to be negative cosine, and we're going to get a third as well. So the third from this integral and this third over here will give me one over nine. And the integral of sine is negative cosine. So the negative from this and this negative here will give me a positive. And then I've got cosine of three X. And then I just need to add on the constant of integration. Now let's deal with these fractions here before we go any further. 
So I'm going to get 2x over 9 sine of 3x plus 2 over 3 times 9, that's 27, cosine of 3x plus the constant of integration. And now what I've got is this here that I can substitute back into here. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. Now, before I go any further, I notice that I've got a third here, I've got ninths here and 27ths here. So I'm going to get a common denominator and make everything over 27. So I'll need to multiply this one by 9 over 9. So I'm going to get negative 9x squared over 27 cosine of 3x plus, now I can bring this substitution up here. And again, this uh, one here, I want to get that in terms of 27. So I'll need to multiply that by 3 over 3. So I'm going to get 6x over 27 sine of 3x plus 2 over 27 cosine of 3x plus the constant of integration. And I notice that I've got a common factor here of cosine of 3x. So what I've got is 2 minus 9x squared multiplied by cosine of 3x plus 6 x sine 3x and that is all over 27 and then just add on the constant of integration. If you found this video useful then remember to give me a quick thumbs up and if you would like to be notified when I release new videos then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.